Welcome everybody that's here tonight helping us celebrate our second year anniversary. So excited to be here and so proud of this organization. We have actually, as of the end of this year, will have exceeded $100,000 in contributions to about nine organizations throughout Volusia County. The second year anniversary traditionally is the anniversary for cotton. And I look at these organizations as the fabric of our community. And the women help us become part of that fabric, are part of that fabric of the community, the safety net and support. This you know, organization has such a huge impact. It's incredible to be a part of um, having an impact that large for um, nonprofits and charities in the community. And we've brought so many women into this organization and uh, I have just seen so many women find such pleasure in being able to help organizations and learn so much more about the charities that need in our community. I think after the first or second meeting I was signed me up and I, I fortunately became the first uh, the male member of the Volusia County Women Who Care. So together we can make a difference and we are making a difference. We're looking forward to 2020. We're looking forward to growing into even a larger organization. We currently have somewhere in the neighborhood of 135 members, and hopefully our goal is to reach over 200 members in 2020 and uh, be able to give away maybe another $100,000 in 2020. So thank you all. Thank you those that are watching this online, and thank you for those that are here tonight for being with us, and I look forward to to sharing with you the stories of the organizations we funded this year. My daughter was diagnosed at three months old with stage four neuroblastoma. When she was one in her honor, we founded the Warrior Kids Foundation, which supports families battling pediatric cancer. That night when we were nominated, it ended up being, I think, $19,400, which is incredible. And since that time, we have been able to help pay one family's rent for three months, you know, so that's something that they don't have to worry about. Another family, their water was turned off because they couldn't afford to pay their payment, and so we were able to turn it back on in the same day. Um, so we were able to use these funds to be able to, you know, financially support these families that are fighting big battles. So on behalf of the Warrior Kids Foundation and on behalf of the families that we support, we just want to thank the Volusia County Women Who Care for supporting us and for allowing us to be able to use these funds to reach our community. The foundation was started back in 2012, um, inspired by Gina McReynolds, who was battling breast cancer while being a mother and raising children, to help pay for travel expenses due to a clinical trial she was on. So uh, what we do is we uh, give financial support, financial counseling, emotional support to uh, women who are battling breast cancer while still trying to raise children, um, high school seniors and younger. Through the grant from Volusia County Women Who Care, the foundation will be able to help out six families for a year with that and be able to provide that support to take the financial burden away and then um, you know also provide all the emotional and everything else that comes along with it. On behalf of the Gina McReynolds Foundation, you know, we'd like to thank the Volusia County Women Who Care. You know, it was an amazing experience to get to meet the meet everybody and we look forward to uh, joining in everything in the future. We started Provision Packs five years ago. I was in my daughter's classroom and we saw that two children, on this particular day was a pancake pajama party. And instead of playing with the other kids and just tossing the food kind of like casually but not really interested, these two particular children were in the corner and they were devouring their food. And so that is when I started to ask questions and started to realize that we in fact have a hunger issue. Not necessarily a starvation issue in our community, but a hunger issue. And that many children are going home. In fact, one out of five children in Central Florida 
and do not know where their next meal will come from. So when the weekend comes and that free breakfast and lunch are not available in the schools, we have a gap where there are two days of inconsistent access to nutritional food. So we started with three kids five years ago and with the support of this community, I am so proud to say that we serve over 400 children a week and we are continuing to grow and we are able to do that because of all the support we receive in the community and because of organizations like Volusia County Women Who Care. I just want to take a moment and on behalf of myself, my organization, and all the kids who benefit from provision packs, I want to thank Volusia County Women Who Care for the honor of receiving the grant last year that helped us to supply over 150,000 meals to the hungry little children in our community. Thank you all so much. Seriously, God bless. Thank you. Everyone that participates in this organization is 100% volunteer position. And what we do is give the basic essentials. We provide the clothing, we provide the school supplies, the uniforms, Christmas presents, birthday presents. If they need a crib, a stroller, a high chair, whatever these children need, our organization likes to reach out in the community and be able to provide it. But because of Volusia County, women who care, we were able to do that and even expand and be able to give birthday parties to those foster children that go from house to um, house and sometimes they're just not celebrated. And so we were able to do that, especially for one young lady who is an amazing young lady. She got um, accepted into um, Preston University and um, she wants to be a doctor. And so nobody was able to celebrate her. So we were able to buy her her first lab jacket and celebrate her and just be able to say, you know what, you're, we love you. You're special, you're amazing, and we want to recognize you on your 18th birthday. Had not been for this organization that wants to highlight and support our local nonprofits that help our children our individuals, then I would not have been able to provide what we provided this year. I encourage every member to continue to not only support, but also bring in others because the more people involved, the greater our impact will be for our community. So we love you and thank you for all that you've done.